everyone welcome back to my channel today we're making mongolian beef in the instant pot if you guys want to know how to make this one please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook all these ingredients can be found in your local grocery store so you don't have to go into a particular grocery store to find any of the stuff so it's fairly easy to make especially when you're going to cook it in the instant pot now if you have any fat on your meat you want to go ahead and remove all of the fat and then slice it thinly. That's all you have to do. And all we're gonna do is just slice these really thin and then throw them all inside of a plastic Ziploc bag because it's just easier and less messy and one less dish to wash. Once you have all of your meat sliced up, go ahead and throw cornstarch right into the bag and make sure you fold up that bag where you have all the air released out of it and then start mixing it all together. You want that cornstarch over every single piece of meat that you possibly can. So just keep rubbing it together until you know it's fully saturated with the cornstarch. This will change the texture of your beef a little bit and give you guys a little bit of a thick uh, sauce toward the end instead of adding cornstarch into your sauce later. But I, mean, I like it this way personally. And once you're done mixing up your beef and your cornstarch, go ahead and set that aside and let's get to our vegetables. Grab your ginger, go ahead and slice that up and we're gonna mince this into little pieces. Same thing with the garlic. I grabbed three because my pieces were a little bit small, so two large ones, it's fine. Go ahead and mince that up as well. Once I was done mincing up the garlic, I just put the two together and gave it one more final mince. Now press the saute button on your Instant Pot and then add your sesame oil and your garlic and ginger mince right into the pot. Then throw your beef right into the pot. We're gonna start adding all the ingredients right in here. Because the cornstarch is gonna make everything stick on the bottom, I went ahead and threw my beef broth in there to try to loosen up everything. Don't worry, once everything starts cooking, it's going to not be sticky on the bottom. It's not gonna be a big deal. Once you've scraped a little bit on the bottom, go ahead and add your soy sauce and your brown sugar. I am using the Splendid Brown Sugar and I did use half a cup instead of three-fourths of a cup. If you like it on the sweeter side, use the whole three-fourths. If you like it a little bit less sweeter, use the half a cup. And because everything's sliced so thinly, all we have to do is pressure cook this for 10 minutes. So make sure you press that cancel button, hit pressure cook, set your timer for 10 minutes, and this is the outcome with our sauce. I just grabbed my green onion that sliced them up into like two inch pieces, threw them right into the pot, and this is the outcome of it. Just serve this over rice form noodles. And if you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.